Hey all you well protected folks out there, this is Jolan from Sofo Support and today we're taking a look at Sofo Central alert email settings. We'll be walking through the different configuration options for alert emails and giving some examples of different scenarios you may want to configure for. We'll be walking through section by section starting with administrators, then distribution list, frequency, custom rules, and exceptions. Check out the timestamps in the video description if you need to skip ahead to a certain section or rewind while watching. Let's jump in. Let's start by going to global settings and clicking configure email alerts. Now right off the bat you should see this page, but if you're seeing this page, that means your alert email settings are managed by your Sophos partner or enterprise admin. So the first tab we see here is administrators. This tab is straightforward. You can select which administrators receive emails and which don't. You can toggle the slider on or off per admin. Let's move over to the distribution list tab. Now here you can add emails that may not exist in your Sofo Central account, which can be convenient if you need to alert people that don't actually need admin access to Sofo Central. You can just hit add email address and you can add in the emails you need one at a time with an optional description. Now let's move over to the frequency tab. Here it gets a little bit more configurable. You can choose to send alert emails based on severity, product, or category, but not all three simultaneously. Once you define one of the three, you can then define the frequency for each subcategory. Under send alert, you can choose either immediately, hourly, daily, or never. Immediately will send out an email as soon as the alert is generated in central. Now with the hourly and daily settings, alert emails will be sent out immediately upon the alert being created in central, but with the max of one email per device, per hour, or day. So for example, if we set medium alerts to hourly and we have five devices that all generate a medium alert at 11 a.m., let's say an update failure, once Central actually creates the alert, it will immediately send out an alert email for each one of those devices. So you'll receive five emails. Now, if those machines generate the exact same alert at 1124, Central will not send out another email for those alerts. If a different alert is generated, it may send an email, but not for the same alert. Now, if the machines generate that original update failure medium alert at 1201, then Central will send another email since it's now over that one hour period. The same applies for daily, but with a 24 hour period. One thing to note here is we're talking about alerts and not events. The endpoint will always send events to Central, so you'll see them in the device's event page like here, but Central may delay promoting that event to an alert in certain situations. For example, let's look at this malware detection. We can see here that malware was detected at 4.41 that day and immediately cleaned up. In this instance, there was no need for this event to be promoted to an alert since the endpoint resolved the issue itself. So no alert was created, meaning no email would be sent. Both events and alerts can have informational, medium, and high severities, but only once an event is promoted to an alert can an email be sent out. More info for this can be found in the alerts FAQ, which we've linked in the video description. If you want to revert your frequency settings back to default, you can always do so by clicking the Restore Sophos Defaults button on the right. The next configuration option we have is Custom Rules. Now these can be great for getting more specific with what you do and don't want to send, but something to keep in mind is that as soon as you enable a custom rule, the other configuration in the administrators and distribution list sections will be bypassed. Since custom rules can be more granular, having both custom and non-custom configurations would cause conflicts for the system. When configuring a custom rule, you start by selecting which role in Central you'd like the rule to apply to. Now you can only select one role per rule or select none if you just want to use the distribution list. Let's select admin for now and click next. Here we'll see the available users with the admin role and choose who we'd like the rule to apply to. We can also add distribution list addresses here based on what's in your existing distribution list or add new emails. Next, we'll get to the alert type section. Here we can see the types of alerts we want to send and which we don't. Now this is strictly on off, so you can't configure additional frequency settings that differ from what you set in the frequency section. This can be useful, for example, if certain admins need to know all about firewall alerts, but not any other products. Then you can get even more specific and only send, let's say, high, medium, severity alerts for firewall products with only the connectivity category. There's lots of options here, so be careful when configuring custom rules and make sure you have enough custom rules to cover all your admins that in fact need to receive alert emails and make sure you don't end up suppressing potentially important alerts. Make sure you name your rules meaningfully and put in good descriptions so the scope and intentions are clear. Now, once you create a custom rule, we'll see that rule in the custom rules tab and we've got a few options. The first option is to pause the rule. Now, if you have just one rule, this will bring the alert email settings back to the settings defined in the administrators and distribution list section. Keep in mind that if you have multiple custom rules, you'd need to pause all of the rules in order to revert back to those settings. 
The key here is you can either use custom rules or the administrators and distribution list configuration, not both simultaneously. For example, if I have five custom rules and paused four, everything in the administrators and distribution list section will still be bypassed and only the one custom rule will be active. You can also click the pencil to edit the rule, the trash can to delete the rule, or click the down arrow here to view the content of the rule. The last tab we have is the exceptions tab. This section is for specific alerts that you've set the send frequency for from the alerts page. So you can see that I have a real-time protection disabled alert for an endpoint here that I've set the send frequency to immediately. Let's take a look at how I did that in the alert section. From the dashboard, I clicked view all alerts. Then I went to the alert and opened the dropdown. Under email alert, I set the frequency to immediately and now it'll show up in the exceptions tab in configure email alerts. From here, you can also change the send frequency for the exception. So that's it for me today on alert emails, folks. But if you have any further questions, take a look at the FAQ or the documentation links we put in the video description. As always, stay safe out there.